you know, we wanted to create a space where students could focus on creativity and innovation and problem solving. But mainly, we just want people to know, too, that if you just have an idea and something you want to make, you can come down here and start to make it. We have all sorts of uh, kind of 3D printed projects. Um, uh, students right now are working on coding their own uh, nonviolent video games. Um, Ryan Slauson, uh, he... Uh, He's kind of taken on the laser cutting and, and working with the CNC router, and he knows all, all about how to do that stuff. He doesn't need me or Mr. Bop down here to help him. I use the uh, laser cutters, these two here, and the CNC router in the room over there. Right now I'm working on a project to create a door for tech theater for the upcoming play. And uh, otherwise it's just miscellaneous projects, for also for tech theater or just for personal use. Uh, I did use the 3D printers at first, but then I sort of got more adjusted to the laser cutters. I much prefer 2D things. It's more my field of expertise. Uh, Xander over there is the guy for 3D work. Um, so what I do is um, mostly just for fun, I uh, design stuff on a program we have called Onshape, and it's a uh, CAD program. Um, it's, that means computer-aided design, and basically what that does is, um, it's kind of like Legos, actually, and it allows you to think of anything and just create it, and after you're done creating it, we can take it and put it onto the 3D printers, and that's kind of what I do down here. I, I help kids out, and I also design my own things. My favorite part is the... It's just the, the way that class gets taught here. I, I don't lecture, I don't, or I don't really lecture. I introduce projects, and then I just walk around and help students try and make their projects a reality. And that's, uh, that's probably the best part. Um, my favorite part about being down here, we're just talking about experiences. My favorite experience is uh, I am constantly amazed by the thing that's uh, by the things that students create and then bring and show me like I can't even believe that they're capable of doing these things especially that they're capable of of learning how to do it and making it with very very little adult assistance um, that that to me has been the real marvel you know I taught AP physics basically for the last 10 years and so I'm used to having the opportunity to work with the kind of the best and brightest students at Brophy and um, one thing I tell people is, you know, I might be amazed at how fast those students can get through a problem, or I might be amazed at um, how few mistakes they make, but I'm never amazed by like the solution itself, because I know what the perfect solution looks like. But here, every day, somebody brings some, you know, brilliant, creative piece up to me and shows me what they've accomplished, and, and I just marvel at it, because, um, because it's, it's something that you would expect to see from a professional. And to see it being made by a freshman or a sophomore or a junior uh, down in this space, and this space has only been open for a few months, so it's not even like they've had a lot of time to, to, to learn these skills or classes to develop these skills, that's really my favorite part. And to see them so excited about the stuff that they've made and the outlet they have to express kind of their own unique creative impulses.